everybody, welcome back to another Dynasty Game Dance today. Welcome back to another Dynasty Game Dance today. Welcome back to the Versus Wheel of Doom series today. We are going to be playing PTCGO. I don't know why I said it like that. And we're going to be using a randomizer to choose our theme deck, except for Mental Might, because honestly, this deck just sucks. Yeah, and it's very outdated, so like, I probably won't win any games with it, so, I mean, and it's the starter deck, it's not really a theme deck, it is, but it isn't. So yeah, anyways, let's just spin the wheel, let's see what theme deck we get. Um, the reason why I decided, like, is just glare and demand is because I accidentally clicked on it, and it's going to be the Rillaboom theme deck, it looks like. Wait, did I include everything here? Try. I think I missed some today. I missed Inteleon, didn't I? Yeah, I missed the Inteleon deck. Whoopsies. Right. Alright guys, so let's see which theme deck we're gonna play. We have the Blazing Volcano, Charizard, Galarian Darmanis, and Hydro Fury, Inteleon, Laser Focus, Leaf Charge. Oh, it's gonna be Soaring. No, it's Storm Color. I thought I got the best one. I mean, I don't think this is necessarily the best, but this is the one I always get destroyed on, so, um, I assume it's the best. But anyways, guys, Stormcaller, I don't think it's a bad theme deck, but I don't think it's good as well. Like, the damage output of this deck is, um, yeah, something to be desired. But let's just jump into Stormcaller and let's see if we can claim a victory right here. We are, first of all, playing against the Rillaboom theme deck, which is not great because Rillaboom has, like, 100, like, 70 HP, I think. So, we are 2-1 up. Okay, we're doing a best of three, by the way. Um, in the theme deck here in the overall series against the Wheel of Doom. And let's just see what we got here. So, we got, um... Okay, I do think- Okay, so we do have a decent start, luckily. We need it. Don't know if we have any way to get stuff in the Lost Zone, though, to boost the damage output. Or whether it's just gonna be, like, just- Let's see. Right, so we got Blitzel, so we can start setting up a Zeb Striker here. Um, how do we get stuff in the Lost Zone? Ampharos. Okay, so we need the Ampharos. Okay. Oof. That's gonna be really bad. Um, okay. This theme deck actually sucks. Um, let's attach onto the active. And let's just pass here, okay? We could play the Pokemon Fan Club next, or we could just go Tate and Liza. Really depends here. There's the call for family, and that's just basically game over for us. Luckily, he does not get a Rillaboom on the turn three, which would be our lost condition 100%. There's no way we're gonna be able to combat that. Cottony, double Grookey. I should actually just check what each theme deck has. Um, I think I will Tate and Liza, because I think we need just more than basics this turn. I think I might. And that just sucks. Okay, um. Let's catch here. Let's do stunning likeness. And we do find a professor's research. Let's go. Okay, now we just start our rescue structure, though. Um, yeah, yeah that kind of sucks. Um, oh, wow. That, that was, that's not a good hand. Okay, we have confusion on our side though, so we should be. What is the whimsical? What does it do? Contrast. Oh my goodness me. There's the professor's research that I saw. There's double potion gone, so there's been no healing. That's good. I don't know if we can really survive though. Yeah, if he goes blessing a fluff onto the the Grookey, I think we just lose. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think it's going to be easy to win with this deck, to be honest. One's the Maractus, which is kind of interesting. We do get the Rescue Stretcher, though, so I'm not gonna play it yet. Let's get the Raikou down, because why not? White Bull, Second Blitzel, Evolve to Flaffy. Could confuse them. Let's see. Oh, okay. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to research because we have our rescue structure in hand right now and don't want to really waste it. There's the hop though. He they just drew the hop after I used that. Really, I would have loved to use the hop. There's the thwacky though. How many thwacky do we have? 
Gotta check. Honestly, we could actually soften them up with the Ampharos next turn. So we could actually take knockouts with the Raikou, but generally, man, this, I, this honestly sucks that we're not just going to strike it down. But Okay, so that's a lot of energy loaded up here, but I think we can, um, you know, get some stuff done here. Okay, so we do have the Naganaut. Naganaut, or Naganaut, or whatever. Okay, let's just go with the Rescue Stretcher. Put the Ampharos back into our hand because we need it. I mean, do 50 to 2 Pokemon. Not gonna tell charge. Or not gonna. Well, I don't even know. Let's go split bomb those two. And let's just see what happens here. Hopefully he does not knock out our Ampharos, because if he does knock out the Ampharos, I will just concede on the spot here. You won't even see me, you know, play out this game any longer. At least he gets the Cotton Me. I'm not sure if he has a Rillaboom in hand. And he does a Rillaboom in hand, which I believe he can just KO me with if he has a Grass Energy. No way he does not have a Grass Energy, though. These Demon decks are literally filled with Grass Energy. And there is the KO, and I will just concede. No way. Would be to match that, actually, to be honest. There is a way, but I'm not. <laughs> Next game, guys. Alright, so we're 1 0 down within this set. We have to win two in a row now with this deck. I don't even know if it's gonna be that easy, but. I mean, you have a quite a. Okay, so we're playing an old theme deck as well, the Celestial Storm one, we call it Leaf Charge. Honestly, I think we have a chance against this one, to be honest. Okay, so we do have a coin, but we do want to go first here. Because the odds of us having support in hand is... I was going to say pretty low, but apparently not. Here we go now. Okay, we don't have anything else. Right, let's just attack the house. Okay. Let's see what this guy is able to do. I mean, there's the zap kick. There's another nest ball. Kick things off right here. I think we. Oh, and he has the instruct Oran Guru as well. Okay. Well, this ain't good. He has a copycat as well, so that's great. Just great. There's the zap kick. We could Professor Kukui try and find an energy. And then knock this Electric out. Then we'd be up a prize. Nope, let's just do go for the setup here. Hopefully we at least get something to set up. And we do get a Mareep. Do get a energy. So we're gonna use the Lost Voltage attack. Un Luckily we don't have... Unluckily we don't have the KO here. Yeah, that just sucks. We need cards in the Lost Zone. But the only thing that can get us stuff in the Lost Zone is through a stage two that just absolutely sucks so i mean this is a lost thunder feedback i don't know what to expect from it i think it was pretty good back in the day but now it's just not good there's another zap kick so at least we'll be able to take a knockout okay here we go timer ball come on flip double heads or double tails okay and that's also fine i mean attach and we go for lost voltage here. Take the knockout on the electric. And we find a blitzel. Okay, that will be kind of useless because our timer ball just failed. So, um, yeah. There's the rescue stretcher. You just can get back the electric. I don't know if using it that turn was impactful, but there's the Kukui. So you might even get the knockout this turn if you find something else. Nope. I think if he actually flipped heads though, he would have been dead. That's fine. Alright, here we go. Here's the Blitzel. Here's a Nest Ball for a Point Bolt to start doing stuff here. And we're gonna go for Lost Voltage. Which honestly does 30 damage only, which is quite underwhelming. But we need to set up our Ampharos and the combo. And we're just not gonna get this with this hand. There's the Copycat for two though. I mean, they have the Instruct, so that's like... We can think about. There's another tree go down. Okay, so it just. We're still alive. 
Thank you. Alright, 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 alright. This is this is honestly not as bad as thought. We can even take the dodge the last one. Oh, no we can't. Wait, can we? No we can if we wanted to. That would set us quite ahead, but what does Psychic do? Yeah, Psychic just knocks us out, right? Yeah, so I'm feeling just like slowly softening up this card. I mean, to be fair, if I took the prize card that turn, I think that would have been better. But that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. Where's the neck trick? He hasn't used Instruct yet, I think. This game is honestly, um, yeah. We need some better theme decks, Pokemon. Come on, come on. I know why. Oh, there's the. Oh. Well, that just sucks. Okay. We can at least attack with the. Uh, the, the Flaffy this turn. Signal beam. Let's go against our opponents. Let's see what that does. Hopefully, they just. Nah, they can retreat. Oh, okay, that just sucks. There is Lady as well. This is not going great, guys. Not going great at all. If they can, if they know to retreat into the Oranguru, we just dead. Yeah, they do. I just want to concede this game, man. This game is tragic. Wheel of Doom just gave us really bad decks. I don't, I, I don't think we could have like draw supporter, please. Nest ball. Okay, that also works, I guess. I mean, where are the Zep Strikers, dude? Oh my goodness. All right, let's just go for um. Raikou. Alright, we're not dead next turn, I think. But we can't use turning point as well because it's... I think we just lose here. You know what? I've had enough. Alright, right, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. Well, we just took a very sharp 2 loss against the Wheel of Doom right there. So now, the score in the set has become 2-2, two to two, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more on Dino's channel. And I'll see you all in the next video.